What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the newest update inside of Premiere Pro 14.3. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy watching these videos and you wanna see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. Now, one of the biggest features that this update has that I'm gonna focus on in this video is that it now has stock audio built inside the app. So instead of having to go to an external site like Epidemic Sound or Artlist, you have songs directly built inside the app with search engines. And it's actually very, very convenient. But there is one thing that I don't like, and I'll tell you that after I tell you all the things I do like. So what I do like is how convenient it is located and how easy it is to work with. So let's get started, I'm gonna show you down here. So I wanna add a song to this second clip. So we're gonna head up here to the top tabs. We have all the different uh, preset layouts. Let's go over to audio which is three from the editing tab. Now everything looks pretty much familiar like it did before, except this little section here. So normally you would see the edit side, but now you're gonna click on browse. You're gonna see all this Adobe stock music built inside the app, which is so convenient. You can filter down here by moods. So you can go to e click on each different type of moods and it'll filter that out. Or if you wanna go to the next section, was it the genres? So you can do both. You can do the moods and then go to the genres. There's even subcategories here. So if you click on, you know, classical, there's all the different types of classical. Or if you go to, you know, pop, there's all the different type of pops. And then even after you've selected those, there's a third category where you can filter out more of like the tempo, the duration of the song. And another big one here is you can filter out by vocals or not vocals. So if you don't want to have vocals, you can say no vocals or has vocals or just do all of the above. So I'm gonna go up here. And so because I'm gonna try to choose something for this scene, I'm gonna go up to moods. Let's just go down to happy. After we selected happy, we'll go to genres and under the genres tab, we'll go happy, but let's do a little acoustic. So maybe let's click a little folk. So let's go down here. Okay, so we have a couple here. Now, one of the best things I like about this is wherever you place your playhead is where it's gonna start the song. And literally if you just click play, It'll start playing exactly where the playhead was left. You can do it that way so you can actually see it play along with the sequence in real time. And if you go to change, you say you don't like that song, let's go down here and let's say we want this two bird song. If you click it, it jumps back to the initial playhead spot and starts playing. So any one you try and you want to keep trying out different ones to find the right sound, it'll keep jumping back to that same spot which is fantastic. So let's just go in here and let's just say, we'll try this one out. Okay, so let's just say we love that song. So now we've done the previews where you just click and play them and it automatically adjust previews for you. But let's say you really want to get it inside of your timeline and work with it more. So you can literally just grab it, drag it and drop. And now it throws it in the timeline. In addition, it throws it over here into the project panel and you'll see the stock audio media. And this will leave you just kind of a low quality sample file. It's not watermarked, there's no weird sounds to block you. It's just not a very high quality. So then when you purchase it, it'll replace it with a higher quality version. So now you have the song you want, it's in your timeline. You can play around with it. You can even go down here and you can edit it out. Let's just say we don't want the end. Edit it exactly how you want and you decide this is the perfect clip for me. So, so far, I think this is amazing up to this point. I think it's convenient, it's right there in the app. You can trial and error without having to go outside online to a different website to try it just off the ear, drag and drop, bring it in, test it. This way you can test it in and out. It just saves so much time. But I told you at the beginning of the video, the thing I don't like, say you decide that's what you really want and you want the full version. You can click over here and on the bottom left, you see the shopping cart. It'll take you to the Adobe stock site. And this is where the problem is. You have to pay for every single track. They have packages you can buy and you can pre-buy them and then you have a licensing situation. So that's the one thing I don't like about this. Now the website that I do like is a website like Artlist where the licensing is unlimited. You can use it anywhere you want on any type of project forever. Even if you cancel the membership, you can still use it forever. That's, that's massive in this day and age because there can be different licensing agreements for different countries or different type of things. It's one thing for YouTube, but say a company wants to put on their website, then you have to get a different licensing. There's always different rules with different licensing companies. So that's the one thing I don't like about this. I don't like worrying about how long can I use this or do I have to worry about where I send it to 
or who I send it to and if they show it on their platform at work is that a different licensing agreement that's not something I want to deal with so as much as I love the convenience and the ease of all this for me personally it's a no-go for that reason but if you use Adobe stock already and you already have the packages set up and you don't mind the ecosystem and you want to continue to pay for it convenience wise it's incredible just be careful with the licensing that's all I would say but that being said, I think it's an amazing integration inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And I think the convenience is just fantastic, but I worry about the licensing. Anyway, that is one of the brand new features inside of the update 14.3 inside Adobe Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna see more like it, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.